Avid readers of the County Down Spectator will know by now that I have sold the rights to make a film based on the life of 24 Karen McGoldrick. So I'm out here in Hollywood to negotiate and fornicate. The producer already uh, rang me and said, Mike, we want Jamie Dornan to play you in a film. He, he, he's our number one choice. And I said, guys, we'll need someone a lot more there. Sorry, Dornan, we meet. Anyway, come and see the gaff. Yeah, it's a little bit off the grid, sure. But you know yourself anyway, come on. So yeah, I mean, she's got easy access there, as you can see. You know, I'm not having to like key in codes or whatever. Getting the getting the Rolls Royce up here is a bit of, bit of bother. But uh, other than that, you know, it's in a great location. Convenient to shops, bars and restaurants, you know, as soon as I, uh, you know, roll down this mountain face. If you get down there injury free, you're going to have an absolute rager out on the town. So, you know, it just makes sense for me at the minute. And a lot of people say, Mike, you're not doing well. You're having a bit of a breakdown and you're out here. You spend all your money on this film project. And I go, take yourself off, mate. <laughs> if there's one thing Mike McGoldrick knows, it's Hollywood. All star. McGoldrick, you're an a-hole, man. But, uh, on yourself, mate. You know, it is going well. I'm not the loo right here or anything. Uh, only last week, Barry McGuigan came out to visit. Uh, last scene with a twister man under his arm in a sorority house. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's certain things that they don't have out here from, from, from back home. You know, trying to find a great wine has been a bit difficult. Uh, I found myself in a, a very interesting little neighbourhood called Compton yesterday. And uh, I, I took myself off to a liqueur store. And I, I said to the, the, the gentleman behind the counter, My man, I'm looking for a, a moue from, uh, you know, around 84. And the guy said, listen, Cracker, I've got to pop a cap. And, you know, I, I, I presume that was some sort of friendly way of saying, uh, you know, get yourself out of here or I'm going to have to open a, a, you know, a bottle of goose and share it with you because you look like your grave banter. Well, then he sort of punched me a bit, but it was like saying sort of, you know, welcome to California, mate. Bang. Uh, we certainly had worse initiations back in the Ulster days, let me tell you that. <laughs> in Hollywood, you're just going to see wall-to-wall -wall celebrities walking up and down the place. It's a bit like Royal Avenue in Belfast. You know, you know, is that Pavi Valentine? Is that Farrah Best? Is that Adrian Logan? Wall-to-wall, -wall, mate. Who let Logan out of jail? You might want to get a shot of that one, mate. Jimmy Nesbitt lives in that one. Bit smaller than mine, but sure. Nesbitt, fancy a stout, mate? No, he's, he's absolutely hanging. He is absolutely. Jimmy? Dead to the world. Dead to the world, that guy. West Hollywood in California is just so north down. Uh, I mean, early last night I was out with Bieber, Robbie De Niro, and, uh, and Jordy Clooney for an absolute rager out on the boulevard. The barman said, uh, where's that accent from? And I said, a wealthy family, mate. I right, poor those stouts you cretin and never ask me a question again. Oh yeah mate, I mean I'm, I'm as much of a, a hit with a bird out here as I am back home. Uh, anytime I'm in bars or whatever, they always call me a jerk. They use this word jerk. Hey hey, Mike, you're a jerk. Uh, and that's great scenes. Leave me and my friends alone, you absolute jerk. And I'm like, guys, just enjoy the banter. No need to get that bouncer involved. I mean, I guess the word jerk comes from like jerk chicken which is, you know, quite good for protein. They're looking at me, they're going, that's a guy who gets a lot of protein. That guy right there is more juice than a nutri bullet. Onward to the Stevie Ferris wheel. <laughs> McElroy's coming over next week, no doubt he'll be, he'll be buying Goose L, R and C, left, right and center. Uh, me and him out on the town, probably do more for the local economy here than the Oscars, for God's sake. <laughs> and, the, and the winner for best banter is, McGoldrick, sure, 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 sure. Th thanks to the economy. Thanks. thanks. That's got a shot of me getting out of the water, mate. Trust me, they'll love it back home. It's worth noting that if you come to LA, there's virtually no public transport. You've basically got to drive everywhere or get an Uber if you're poor. I'm a massive fan of that. Imagine if that was the case back home. It would absolutely stop peasants getting the train from Belfast to the Gold Coast on sunny summer days. And it would put an end to them polluting the place with their, their foul language and tragic haircuts. Nuke to self, when I get home, buy Translink and dismantle it. How much would that cost? About 400 quid should do it. <laughs> Although, well, it'd probably be more than that, but I could like throw in like a, a side photo of myself or something. Last one in from Carrick Fergus.
good thing about the beer in America is it's not as strong as our stuff. So with Lobster, I've got about nine, ten pints, and I can still drive home. Oh, wrong side, I forgot to drive a little shot. Actually, that's not even my car. Oh, oh a bit sicky. Yeah, I, I've thought about forming a rugby team out here because just nobody plays rugby. They're all into American football, uh, the NBL, or whatever it is. That's just not a sport. They're all padded up. Are they wearing helmets? You know, we rugby players are like gladiators. Fully nude, well not nude, but may as well be. You could bet your doll that McGoldrick would never wear a helmet to play sport. You'd be able to see McQuiff. The spectators would be raging. So that's it mate, all the best, and uh, just let them do it back home, things go pretty well for me. Come back mate, do you have any money mate, I, I haven't eaten in like three weeks. Huh. Mate.